hi guys you're welcome to my youtube channel my name is linda you are very much welcome please do subscribe to my channel remember to comment like and share this video if you found this video very interesting if you found this video very educating and informative do well to like comment and share this video last time we talked about how to develop business idea and today's episode today's topic we are still going to continue it's a continuation of what we did last time don't go away stay tuned welcome back on today's episode we are going to talk about business identification how to identify a business gap that has an enabling ground for growth first you have to know the lifespan of the business you should look out for businesses that have a, a long life cycle so it will take time before the business starts phasing out let me give you one good example you remember those old those days as far back as 2006 2004 2005 2006 that's what we call business center in Nigeria where you go to a phone booth pay to a local vendor and make use of the phone make use of his or her phone for a phone call at the end of the day the vendor will charge you based on how many minutes or how many seconds or how many hours you your call was and that's how they made their business that time it was a very lucrative business for them they identified a business gap that business gap that time was people don't have much phones but they want to make call they want to call their relatives so the business gap there was communication they have passion for communication so that's why they saw the gap that okay i need to communicate with someone and i don't have a phone and i can't go to night tell you know that time is only night tell that was doing it see see how how people how fast people think you see it's only night tell that was handling the phone business but with time people start doing it becomes local and a lucrative business so people go out there build a phone booth and you go you go there and make your calls they have a foresight, but it was limited. It was a limited foresight. It faced that with time. You see that? You see what I'm talking about? The people that invented this, the people that thought about this, they know that yes, Nitel is the only company in Nigeria that is handling pay phone business. If you want to make a call, you say, if you're in, you in Imo State, you have to travel from wherever, even if it's Okiwe, you have to come from Okiwe to Owere and go to Nitel office and make a call. But when people see this gap, they saw the communication gap and they decide to use their phones. They went there, that time I think they're selling SIM, SIM cards that 5,000, that 7,000 um, phone was about 100 and something and so on. So they used their phone and that time it was Nokia 3310. <laughs> Nokia 3310 and then Samsung ROS, ROS, whatever, I, don't, I can't remember the name again, you know. So people were using it for communication. So it was a lucrative business as at that time. But the point that they identified the business gap, they invested on it. But the point there is they didn't check the pasture. They had passion for communication, but they, they didn't look at the pasture I was talking about, the enabling ground for business growth. They didn't know that within a short period of time, took, okay, check out since 2006 or 2005, this is 2023. But when that business center phased out, I think it's about eight or seven years ago. So the business didn't last. It did not last. Okay. So these are the things you have to look out for the pasture and the passion. Now, let me, let me tell you one other thing. It was a very lucrative business that time, but now that business doesn't exist anymore. It ceases to exist when people start buying their own phones. But the, the business gap, the, what they identified at that time is that people don't have phones. Not that people don't have, but majority of Nigerians don't have phones. But they have relatives that they can reach out to. 
So that time you can see someone in Adamawa and he wants to talk to someone in Imo State and they will schedule a time, okay, by five o'clock I will be in so so and so business center. Call me by five. And by that five o'clock, you go and use that person's phone number. You will stand at the phone booth and the other person in Abiokuta will now call and they will communicate. It's no longer existing. This is what I'm talking about. The people that identify that business gap, they see the bling ground for growth. Please remember to share, remember to like, remember to comment on the video. Remember, this is an interactive channel. We we'll keep on interacting with each other. Interact with me. You understand what I'm saying? So remember to share, remember to like, remember to comment on this video. If you found it very informative and interesting, once more, Remember to subscribe to my channel for more episodes on this. We are still on how to develop a business idea and various steps you have to take to set up that successful business. Please remember to come back here next time for more episodes. Thank you for watching. Bye.